Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to a new video where today I am heading over down the kind of alley past Thorpe, um, kind of the whole area to check out Hyperia. I'm really excited. I'm coming in a new way. So we're going to get some views of some of the rides in some of the park. But this is my first Hyperia update of 2024 and I'm so excited to check out the progress as I literally haven't been here since November. Crazy. Down by Monks, you can see the what's left of Angry Bird Land, the TNT boxes. Obviously, this is now going to be Big Easy Boulevard opening in the 2024 spring season, which is going to be exciting to see the refurb of Angry Bird's Land. There are also some rumba boats, as you can see, down here. Some reds, some purples, and some greens. They definitely are looking a bit worse for wear, I think. But yeah, there's some more down here. Quite a few. There's the old little log flume boat with all its plants in just down the back here with the rumba boats I'm not sure why this is here but it is so maybe we won't be seeing this return oh car boom boom r.i.p rocky express what a throwback So, what is the future for Double Tea Party? As you can see, all the signs are gone. They're probably just doing a refurb, I'd assume, as this is obviously quite new, Double the sponsor. But the signs have all gone. There's the exit from the Station of Inferno. So the first thing that we're seeing down at Hyperia is going to be the maintenance building. Yep, here's a little look at it. You can see in that they've started putting the power process for the attraction in. So basically power and lights and things like that are now starting to go in. As you can see, the outer bank out the station has started to be put in place with track. As well as the station. The station has kind of started being completed. Now, if you've been to Blackpool Pleasure Beach and you've been on Icon, you know that the op box is slightly higher. So it is assumed that this little window here is going to be the op box for Hyperia. So yeah, as you can see, track and supports have gone in on that turn out of the station, ready to go up that gigantic lift hill. And then as you can see here, supports and track have gone in place. You can see on the roof, the gold top has now gone on. And there is also a brand new structure being built down the back, kind of where the buckwheats were, where that wooden building wasn't taken down for a while. This is the new structure for that. So I'm assuming that this new structure is going to be the photo and gift shop, which will be really exciting. You can see here that the hill down into the brake run has also been fully put together and installed with track and supports. There's nothing major to really update everyone on. It's just a load of track and supports that have gone in place. I definitely think that the construction of this is happening quite fast. And I do personally think we could see it opening end of May, June time. So, not kind of Hyperia related, but Project Sparkle, which is the repaint of Colossus. You can see to the left of me here, the colour of the old track and that bright blue vibrant colour of the new track. I'm so excited to get back on this this season. It's looking so much better. And then you can see back there, Rush. I do believe the swings and everything has been taken apart. 
and then you can also see Samurai which is laid down which is also getting repainted to the original colours that it was at Chesington which is really exciting. Now that more track and supports are going in you can definitely see kind of more of the layout and where the coaster is going to be running with those plans that you were given or and as well as the ride experience which they posted to tease Hyperia at Halloween at POV but yeah now that more track is in and the sports you can definitely see the layout you can hear or you can hear you can kind of see here some kind of digging that's worked basically what they've done is underneath here put the power and water utilities in for the site and they've put the mud now back over it so that is in place now underneath these tracks it's a little look of hyperia from across the lake there's the little bridge from the car park into the dome usually um, we just you can see just through the trees here a little look at vortex camera going oh my god so we're trying to get to like the other side to see all four all of the coasters and <laughs> The camera's okay. Where's the camera? He's cut his hand. <laughs> maybe this I had nothing to grab onto. Maybe this should pause. be a no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this no, is so This is actually no. Bear Grylls survival. <laughs> he's doing it. He's, he's... Oh no, Kate, I'm next. Oh no. He's done it. Brilliant. They better change that logo. I didn't think okay. What a waste of time. We can't even go through that. You're the only one with wellies. I can't believe- oh, he's going in. <laughs> no way. Should we all just wait? Yeah. As you can see, it's a bit deep, so uh, yeah, none of us are going through that. You're on we your own, hun. So, again, I'm really excited to be back here checking it all out, as well as kind of some things that are going on park, ready for the 2024 season that isn't Hyperia related. But yeah, that is my most recent Hyperia update and some looks at Project Sparkle, as well as Big Easy Boulevard and all that jazz and some of the rides during closed season. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to try and get back here more before Hi like kind of Thorpe Park opens for that main season. In my opinion, I don't think Hyperia is going to be opening when Thorpe opens for its main season. That's just my opinion. It might. They might surprise us. I don't know. But that is my thought. I reckon it could open end of May, June time. Definitely May-ish time, maybe. But who knows at the end. So yeah gonna definitely try and get back here to check out more Hyperia I really want to check out more of the construction when that highest peak starts to be constructed and go in so I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog make sure to comment like and subscribe and I'll see you soon bye guys